So here I am. There's my laundry. My kids are watching a movie. I am just going to talk for a few minutes about my goals for kindergarten. Um, we want to do math. I want to teach him simple math. I want him to learn how to count by twos, uh, fives, and tens, as well as adding and subtracting and knowing how to count to 100. Um, I would also like to teach him to read if he's developmentally ready by the end of kindergarten. Um, I like him to re be reading simple Bob books. I would also like him to learn 30 memory verses in the Bible and um, to learn the fundamentals of Christianity. We'll probably do the kids catechism. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. I'm really sorry. Um, where is it? I have it right here on my bookshelf. This right here. I'm going to try to learn this uh, with Reuben so he knows the fundamental and basis of Christianity because I am a Christian. Um, I like him to know the fundamentals of the Bible. Um, we did this in kindergarten, but we're continuing to read our Jesus Storybook Bible. And um, I've also added the Ology. This is a really great book about theology. I really love it. And I want to read through those um, whenever he asks me, whenever he needs me. We try to read one of them, a story in one of them at bedtime. Um, I want to do lots of crafts. I want him to love learning and to think it's fun because that's really important because he's going to be learning for the rest of his life. And so my goals for kindergarten, these are just for Ruben. I'll have to make a preschool goals, goals video for Becky since she's two now. Um, for sex education, uh, we are adding why boys and girls are different. So this talks about how boys have penises and girls have vaginas and it calls them by their names and by their parts. Um, I'm also answering any of his questions that he may have about sex and reproduction or about his own body and being frank and honest with him. Specifically for kindergarten, we are going to cover periods and women's periods. He's already um, noticed mine and asked about it, so we're covering that. And we are just reinforcing more about his body and more about how he's growing in his own developments and starting to talk a little bit about puberty. So those, that's my goals for sexual education for a kindergarten. So this is where I'm currently storing our homeschool stuff. Um, this is a project that we did, a math project um, where we painted a tissue box and you feed him pancakes. There's Becky's and there's Ruben's. But besides that, this is where I am now storing our homeschool stuff for kindergarten. So I have the books that we kind of use once a week here. Here's our timer if we need it. Like if my son's getting frustrated, I'll say, let's just do it for five minutes. This is a 15 minute timer, but we really don't use this very much, but I thought I might need one, so I bought one. Up here is where I put our artwork. And down here is where I store all the stuff that we're not currently using. It's a bit of a mess, but we have crowns, coloring books, and other things. Um, I'm already collecting things I would like to use in the future. These are for the future. But this is kind of how I'm just storing everything right now. So as for my plans for kindergarten, the first thing I did was I made a bunch of printables just for like rainy day activities and there's a different one every week. Each one has you, each week we are learning a different flower. So here are the flowers we've been learning. So I have these just as fun activities when I really feel like I can't think of what to do next. Um, but as to what we, what we do or what I want to do every day is every day I want to do some reading. So right now we're reading the Swiss Family Robinson. In this drawer, just right here, is where I keep everything that we use daily. So every day we're doing some kind of number writing. We're not doing letters yet, not until he learns to read, but we're doing numbers. My goal is in kindergarten to have him write all the numbers, 1 through 9 and 0 as well. We're also doing math. Right now we're doing Tinker Active Math, but I will switch probably to um, Singapore Math next this is really fun and I like it, but I've heard really good things about Singapore. And then we have my daughter's notebook and my son's notebook, which is where we just paste 
all of our activities that we're doing, all the flowers that we're learning each week. And even though she's in preschool, she's with us and she does pretty much everything that we do except for, you know, hers look like this. And it is what it is. She's only two. Um, I did make some printables of, of uh, learning letters, but he just isn't very good at letters. And then I read something about how you shouldn't learn to write until you can read, so we just quit doing that. The second thing that we do every day besides math is we do a letter activity. So right now, my goal is to teach him to read by kindergarten, and we're doing the Simply Charlotte Mason um, Learning How to Read Kit. I don't really know what you call it. Delightful Reading Kit, I think it's called. Um, and there's another activity that I made. You make a duck pond, and the duck's footprints, you count and subtract them and add them and stuff, and it's really fun. Here's some sight words that I made for him. Flags of the world. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, so we've been doing kindergarten just for a few weeks, and I wanted to make a video mostly about my goals and expectations. The problem is, doing the Charlotte Mason, you're supposed to be outside a lot, and you're supposed to be learning the names of flowers and grass and trees and birds. I don't know any of that, so I'm having to learn all of this stuff with him and it's really hard it's like it's a high learning curve for me so i would like to learn lots of the flowers and the grass and the bugs and the birds and insects that we find in our own yard but it's it's very very hard and i would like to start a garden next year which i guess will be at the end of his kindergarten year and start of first grade so i want him to learn about growing food and nourishing his body and the names of the plants and the animals that he sees. So this is turning into a really long video, but um, I have shared in my vlog channel, I don't vlog anymore, but I did share some of our first days of kindergarten. Um, so you can guys can go check that out and you can see all of our preschool. Uh, I vlogged from the time my son was four months old until he turned five and two months. So he was, he had been five for two months when we quit. This is becoming very off topic though. Um, so, so far we are loving homeschooling. I do plan to continue it into first grade and we will be doing the full Ambleside online curriculum starting with first grade. Uh, but this is just what we are doing for kindergarten and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.